guys and welcome back to my channel let's try this setup uh, the sun is shining on my legs so it's really really warm but i can't sit just 10 centimeters that way because then i will get the sun in my eyes and the sun comes and goes because it's kind of cloudy today i'm sorry i can't really do anything about it i look really glowy today so i just filmed this uh, I look and it is on the palette that I am bringing to England. It is a palette bingo and I'm really excited about it. I am wearing lashes. Um, that was fun. <laughs> they were really, really nice. Zoom in, maybe you can see them. It is these ones. They're really, really nice. What I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the makeup that I am bringing with me to England. I am going to London and Brighton with my boyfriend and we are meeting up with Amanda and Claire and Erin. I am so, so excited about it. And it was actually Amanda's fault that we are going to London and Brighton. I really wanted to meet her and she was really close to me. I didn't plan on going anywhere, but then London was not far away, so London it was. It is. I'm in London when you see this. I wanted to share what a Pana brings with her to um, England. I would bring more if we were bringing our big suitcase, but because we are only going to bring a carry-on, I was I was going to be strategic about what I wanted to bring. I tried to limit myself. I'm not a minim minimalist, so. Um, I could go less. It's only a week we are going to go away, but I really wanted to do something about my makeup when we are there. My brushes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven face brushes right here. All kinds. There are Real Techniques, there are Elf, there are BH Cosmetics, and then a Finding Color, I think the brand is. So you may recognize some of the brushes. They are still a little bit wet because I washed them yesterday. Then I have six eye brushes and one of them is a spoolie because I'm not going to take any brow product with me. I'm going to use an eyeshadow in the palette. So these are the brushes I'm taking. Wet n Wild, uh, So Eva, Real Techniques, Funding Color, uh, Noble Nordic. So I'm really excited and I tried to find my small list brushes <laughs> so and these are also some of my favorite to use on my face the only tool that i'm bringing is my eyelash color i have planned on plugging my eyebrows before i go and stuff like that so i'm not going to bring any um let me organize my stuff right here so you don't have to be confused Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> okay, the lightning is really weird. I'm really sorry, but I really wanted to film this and then I can take a break and then come back and the sun will go. You see, the sun is down here. Not, not ideal. I am bringing this small, small perfume because in your handbag or your carry-on, you are not going to bring anything that are all over 100 milliliters and this small thing is definitely a lot so i'm going to bring this small perfume and i have that in my handbag normally so it's a nice scent and it smells really really good i apply it a lot on the go um let's start out with the base right so i have two primers i have my face primer that i'm using and then my pore minimizer i really need these two primers i could probably go without this um but my W7 Perfection Primer I am loving, so I, I really can't go without this. Um, and then I have the Revolution Star Primer. It is the water gel primer with anise extract. This is a new one for me. It is kind of minty when you put it on, but it's really, really nice. So let's go on with foundation. I have my W7 HD foundation in buff, I want to say. I don't think it has a color. <laughs> oh yeah, here, buff. Yeah, I was right. This is the go-to foundation that I have right now. It is matching me. I'm not wearing it today though. I'm only wearing concealer because I was lazy. But I really want to bring a concealer. No, yeah, well, I want to bring a concealer. I really wanted to bring a foundation and see if I could have it in my 
uh, luggage and I could so this is the one that I'm bringing. This is a satin finish, so it's really, really nice, so it's not matte or dewy, you know? And it doesn't cake up when it is getting hot outside and stuff like that, so it's a really, really nice foundation, not primer. I do have enough, because it's only a week, and you know about this concealer, it lasts forever. And I hope that I am dark enough for only this. This is the Maybelline Instant anti Age the Eraser Eye Concealer, and it is in light. It is a teeny bit dark on its own, but I think when, with the foundation it is okay. Um, I'm crossing my fingers because I don't really know what concealer to bring that is not leaking everywhere, you know. And so this is... Uh, yeah. To set all of that, I have my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is the go-to powder for my under eyes, so I thought it was going to be a good powder for all over my face because it is matte. And I do have a lot of pan. I'm really excited. It does have a slightly white cast if you're not careful. Um, if you'd overdo it, the white cast come through. Otherwise, it is translucent. I really, really like this so much for my under eyes. So I think those three is going to be a nice combo. For my blush, I have my The Balm Fred Boy. This is going to be a, such a nice blush for, here for uh, summer, you know, when it's really, really warm in England. I have a duo from W7. It is the W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow Duo. So this has a bronzer and a highlighter. I am loving this bronzer right now because I am taking a break from a hula. I think it is the one that break, that is bringing me out. I'm loving this bronzer for summer. It is so beautiful and glowy and amazing. I'm not normally a glowy bronzer type of girl, but this is beautiful. And then the highlighter is very subtle, but I think I can use an eyeshadow for highlighter if I want to have a, it more intense, but this is a really nice duo here for summertime. Eyeliner, I am bringing this burgundy eyeliner and that is because I am bringing a purple pink eyeshadow palette and that is the one that I have on my eyes today, so you can see it's very purple. It is the W7 Enchanted palette and it is a beautiful one. I think I can use... This are mystical in my eyebrows and it will look okay. So that is why I chose this palette. I wanted it to be all in one. So I only need to bring an eyebrow brush. I forgot that one. I'm going to bring one of those. But you can see it has a lot of colorful eyeshadows. And I thought it was a good one because I have mystical in a project. So I can work on that and play around with another one. So I think this is going to be my two weeks one palette. I haven't done the update when I'm filming this, but I think I will afterwards and just choose this one. Another random one. This is the eyeshadow palette that I'm bringing. I'm really excited about it. To play around with that more because it's really, really good. Then I have the W7 I Got The Power eyeshadow primer. Something awful about this is the packaging, I would say, because it is crumbling off. Only the lid is crumbling off all the time. It's really, really awful. I have a cream shadow because I experienced today that some of the shadows really needed some help. And so I'm bringing the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. This small one right here. And I think I could get some good use out of that one. I'm bringing a brow gel because my eyebrows are crazy if I don't have a brow gel. And I can correct the shadow that I'm using in my brows if I use something like this. I actually forgot it today, but I will do it after the video. And then we have my mascara combo, and that is the Noble Nordic Hey Films mascara and the W7 Very Vegan mascara. This is an awesome combo when you don't have any lashes on, because they give your lashes volume and length, so that's nice. And the Noble Nordic mascara is waterproof. I have two lip balms. I know it's as if, but this one I am using every single day when I do my makeup. And this one is on the go in my handbag and I really need, I really like to have two lip balms because I forget to apply them if I don't have one with me all the time. Last but not least, I have my lip combo that I'm going to rock for the entire week. It is a nude lip combo. I have the W7 Lip Twister in Champagne that I have in a project I'm going to rock. I can use that on its own and it's a beautiful warm nude color. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 725 in Tantalizing Taupe. This is the packaging and this is the lipstick. 
it is the one that I have on today. So it's really nude. And if I want to make it a little bit more opaque and dark, you know, uh, I can use a lip liner. Um, so this is a really really nice nude and I don't have a lot left so I hopefully can make some good progress on this and I think that is a good lip combo because it goes with everything basically. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and see what I'm going to bring. It is the most minimalistic makeup bag I can do. I tend to go overboard with my clothing and my makeup but this time around I'm really trying my best to not overpack, you know. <laughs> it's only for a week, so I'd only need seven outfits of clothing and maybe I can wear something twice. I'm not up for that, but I'm trying my hardest. And makeup, I'm trying to be a neutral and colorful at the same time, and I think I can do that with these products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want more of these kinds, and if you just have any video ideas in general, I am Crossing my fingers, I can have more than just this video up when I am in London, where I'm in England, you know. Um, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm really trying to get some video up for you guys. I have not felt well for the last week. And I'm not well either today. It is my back. It's hurting. Can't do anything about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good one until my next video. Bye!